we all you can cozy in a little bit. It's, I feel like it's a bit. I'm going to I don't like these guys, so they can keep away. <laughs> How you guys been? We've been really good. We're uh, excited about the new single. How have yes. you been? Well, we'll promote the single in a second. Just steady on. <laughs> Jeez, Jeez, mate. Easy, mate. Wow. Well, well, single came out a few weeks ago, which is great. Um, went to Adelaide. Single. Went to Adelaide like yep. a week ago and did a really big Australia Day show, which is really cool. Oh, awesome. How was that? Um, yeah, ridiculous. Um, it was paid for by the city of Adelaide, so we ran up quite a good hotel uh, oh. mini bar bill. Really? Which is great. <laughs> mm. What's on your What's on your rider? Okay, what's the Mosquito Fall rider? Um, when the When the city of Adelaide is paying for it? Well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, in this in this case, it was private rooms at the Crown Plaza. It was actually quite good. So there was a few um, like forty dollar two a.m. steaks delivered to the room, which is great. Amazing. Um, so yeah, woke up, had some breakfast, which is very nice. We love togetherness, and they booked us one room each for some reason, which was great for about thirty minutes when we got there. No. But after yeah. that, we said everyone meet in uh, room ten twenty two, which is and mine. Bring your whole mini bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out one little bottles of wine was worth about thirty dollars each. So that. Yeah. <laughs> and City of Adelaide just paid for it. Thank you very much. Well, we haven't got the invoice yet, so we're assuming <laughs> that they paid for it. Thank you, the taxpayers. So, how long have you guys had the rock and roll lifestyle? Like just raiding the mini bar? Well, or I mean, that was expensive. Was that, that, was that was probably that was a, first a, time. Couple, a couple of weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, what's it like being a boy band today? Do you guys consider yourself a boy band? Is that a label you guys use? Because like, like, you're a band <laughs> consisting of, of boys. I guess we kind of see boy bands as all guys that sing and no instruments. And no, that, okay. I, right. I guess I guess we are a band made up you, of boys, but yeah. but yeah, I think it's like it's kind of different ways that we've built ourselves. Like boy bands just kind of like dropped in and like yeah. they like they do all this awesome stuff straight away. Whereas like the last three four years, we've kind of like built ourselves from the ground up. I think I think what qualifies you guys, you guys have got boy band hair. Yeah, <laughs> I think you guys think you've got boy band hair. Definitely mm. have boy band hair. Yeah, yeah, you've got long hair, Molly. Well, yeah. a, you've got right. I got a fresh cut today, but you got a fr- yeah. So of course yeah. you did. You probably get yeah. one every, probably get one every week, <laughs> at least. Um, any tips? How do you how do you achieve? How does someone like myself? I've, I mean, I try to do the quiff thing, and but I how think do you're we... pulling it off, Keys. You really. I was gonna say, looking I was sharp, man. Too. I didn't want to. I was gonna ask you for tips, but I guess if you're putting it back on me, well, well, do you guys about, get together and discuss? The hair style, like yeah, we do. do. We'll, yeah, we'll have a meeting. I mean, you sit down, <laughs> yeah, you're like, we'll, okay, let's write a song, let's work on the next album, and let's discuss what the hair's going to be. <laughs> Who's going to take this hair? We, we don't write songs. We're a boy band. They just give them to us, and then we talk, <laughs> talk about hair. <laughs> well, let's talk about That's writing songs. Let's let's talk about the new. Let's talk about the new single, shall we? Because uh, summertime girls came out about a year ago, and now you followed it up with another, uh, you know, boppy pop tune. Yep. Uh, love me like that. Boptastic. Um, boptastic. It is boptastic. It's really good. <laughs> How hard is it to write a pop song? Because I think a lot of people. Um, and I hope you don't mind me using the word yeah. pop. It's yeah. not like no, it's, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully, fully open to that. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people um, underappreciate how hard it is to write a catchy pop oh. song because it's not everyone can yeah. do it, um, and it kind of gets discredited a little bit. Yeah, it's, how it's, hard it's, was it's, it? A, it's only so many times you can put some woes and o's <laughs> into songs. Well, here's the thing. I'll give you. Yeah, I'll, I'll I give think you, you brought that brought up a good that's point. That's a really good question. Um, it's pop song needs to be simple. Yep. Short. Yep. Catchy, memorable, and not cliche. Yep. And to do all those things in one song, hard. Yep. In the songwriting process, we have a good, pretty good filter process. Like, there's four guys in the band, and we can all, if, eventually, if we can all get to a point where we agree on it, we, we all collectively like it, then mm. we feel like we're on a, 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 a bit of a winner. So, speaking of the songwriting process, who do you guys listen to at the moment? Who are you loving right now that is. I am addicted to Zane's song, Pillow Talk. Oh, he is. He was singing and, uh, it yesterday. Yeah. Was I it a surprise? To, was that good? Not really. I knew it was going to be really good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's Zane. It's like <laughs> Zane. Zane. <laughs> kill it. Zane, baby. And yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Nick Jonas too. So I'm kind of into like the R&B sort of thing at the moment. Guys with great hair as well. Yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> yeah. good looking guys. Yeah, very good looking guys. What about the rest of you guys? Any I'm very hashtag Lush Life, Zara Larson. Zara Larson, Swedish music. Yeah. Good track. Yeah, good. Those good. Swedes know. Swedish, Swedish people Those make Swedes amazing know. pop Max tunes, Martin. don't they? Yeah, right. yeah, Max Martin. Let's not get into that. Shall that's a four hour. <laughs> what was it like first time? Do you remember the first time you heard one of your songs, Summertime Girls, I'm presuming it was on the radio? And what that was like? Yeah, we were actually in the uh, Universal Building in Sydney in their conference room, all laying down on Twitter, <laughs> just like <laughs> talking to heaps of fans. Like, Twitter was going nuts. So it was, uh, was kind of cool. And yeah, it was very exciting to finally have a song that's actually gotten onto the radio without us kind of trying to push it onto the radio, I guess. Yeah, you got people for that now. Yeah, <laughs> people, that people do that for it. Yeah. We yeah. got our people. We got our people. People and fans, I think, is yeah. Hi, welcome back to the video. Our cameraman, Christian, legend, Christian Hull, hey. just hey. had to change the, the battery guy. of the camera. The guy who did the hilarious vine about Melbourne weather. Uh, okay, so um, because I went out to get a burrito before instead of doing yep. prep for this interview. Um, Fair enough, understandable. I yeah, I decided to just get um, your fans to tweet me some questions cool. to ask you guys. So they prepared so, the interview, not you. Yeah, everything I've asked you up to this point has been written by other people. I don't know who you are. 
Let's <laughs> must get a fall. Zane. Coldplay. Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Pillow talk out now. <laughs> Justin. Bianca underscore White. This is a good one. Um, best Mario Kart player out of you. And what Ooh. characters do you play? Oh, oh, we've opened something. I think, obviously, Toad's the best character, right? No, who's the best out of us? Best player. Well, or the best out of us. Okay, so first well, of all, who do you who do you all play? Yeah. If you're playing Mario Kart, who, who do each of you play? Yep. Yeah. Yoshi. I yes. like to take Toad. If Toad unavailable, I will take Peach, because also very lightweight and aerodynamic. <laughs> yep. And attractive? And she's gorgeous. So Toad and Peach is attractive. Peach. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Favourite flavour of ice cream? It says a lot about a person. I'm a uh, very outspoken cookies and cream advocate. Okay. So Just chocolate. That. I don't know none of your fancy stuff, mate. Um, well, mate. Chocolate. Butterscotch. Oh. Yeah, interesting one. Wow. It's gourmet, gourmet flavours. Gourmet, yeah. It's yeah. Cookies and cream isn't gourmet. Give me um, look, I'm going to throw this in there. I actually like vanilla oh. because all the, com- all the stuff you can put on it oh, is unlimited. Yeah, thanks. Just, you can just do it at Milo, Vanilla. hundreds and thousands. You realise you can do that with all ice cream? <laughs> you can put but stuff on it. You can't. You wouldn't put Milo on strawberry ice cream, I don't think. Yeah, you would. Yeah. I would. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, call. Yeah. Some nods back here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Would you? All right. Let's just ask. There's three people in the crowd. I've got a yes. Yes. I've got a yes. Feel free to yell out. Yeah. God, no. no, you yeah, wouldn't. No, no, you, you wouldn't put yeah, stra- Milo on strawberry Milo ice cream. No way. Okay, two yeses. Well, you yes, you all make me sick. It. Tay Choc Slice says uh, the last... <laughs> Speaking of ice cream. What? <laughs> it's got to be fake. There's a theme. <laughs> That's legit. Legit. Uh, last time you broke the law. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Might have weighed the pistachio nuts as grapes at Coles. Here, oh, way. self-serve checkout. Bad. Who hasn't, though, Sheesh. before put through regular bananas as ladyfinger bananas or the other way around, whichever one's more expensive? Ladyfinger's more expensive. Yeah. Shit. I've, <laughs> I've been... I've been... You've been, 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 been overcharged yourself. <laughs> Are you insane? Back to the business. Touring. We're Woo! doing a tour. What do we got? So, April 2nd for yep. Melbourne. We're playing at the Meat Market in North Melbourne. Very sexual. <laughs> the, meat it is, the Meat Market is not a strip club. <laughs> uh, April 6th, we're playing at the Old Museum in Brisbane. And April 9th, we're playing in Sydney at the Oxford Arts Factory. And what are you guys bringing to the tour? Is there anything we can expect? Just fun. <laughs> Just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> now we, 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 we like to put a lot of effort into our shows and put a lot of energy and like fun inclusiveness to all of yes, our fans. Yes, Keegs, so, there yeah, will be nudity. Okay. Now, nah, look. Did yes. I didn't say that. I, I you it didn't either. I didn't okay. And on that note, can't wait to see you guys and thank you for coming in, Mosqueda Fall. Thanks thank for having you. us. Thank Later. you. Thank you. And I'll get to the Thank you. Yeah, come on, love me like that.